In this video, I'm going to share with you the best defense to stop the gun bunch in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release new videos. And actually, you know what, we're going to change that we're gonna change the title. I'm gonna talk about U trips first. So we're gonna we're gonna focus on U trips in this video. We'll talk about a bunch in our next in our next one. But um, but anyway, how do you stop U trips? It's very similar to how you stop bunch. It's actually very similar uh, styles of defense. But what I want to hit on in this specific video is I want to talk a little bit about what I would talk what I would say is a new concept uh for defensive coverages at least newer concept and so and how it works and why it's effective so um what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go ahead and go in your coaching adjustments and you're going to put your flats on 30 your curl flats are going to be on 10 and your hook curls are going to be on five now um the way that this is going to work is basically what we're going to do is we are going to use zone to really um Put our opponent in a bad position so we're going to use zone coverage primarily but we are going to do a couple things a little bit unique so the way that this is going to work is essentially what we want to do is to the short side of the field we want to run cover two and to the wide side of the field we want to run cover four so the way that this is going to look if you take a look at this here is we are going to audible down into that cover four show two as you can see right here this is the cover four show two now, it's actually really simple on how this is going to work. All we are going to do is we are going to put the the safety on the left side in a deep half, the corner on the, on the short side into a cloud flat. As you can see, that's what it looks like. We're going to shift our defensive line wherever it is that they need to go. So um, I actually really like the spread. If, if I could just spread my line, that's what I want to do. But if they're running the ball a lot on me, I probably need to do something like this against this specific formation. You might need to crash them to the left or shift them left. You might need to shift them to the right. It just depends. In the defensive guide, we talk about exactly what you need to do to stop every run. So if you want to get my defensive guide that is a little bit further, um, it will further elaborate on all of this. It will show you how to literally lock everything down. Then you can get that in the description of this video. But this is kind of where we're at at this point right here. This is what the defense looks like. Now, all we need to do is we need to deal with a couple of things that people can do. The first one is a motion, like a motion crossing route or like a post route, right? Something like this right here, okay? How do you defend this? Well, what you do is we've got a couple of things. So the first thing is we want to deal with like a delay fade. So what we're going to do to deal with like a delay fade, really anything underneath, is we're going to put the X um, lineman right here on a three wreck. The way you do that is by hot routing him to a bluff blitz, okay? Just like that. And then now we're in a situation where we, you know, can do a couple of different things. But really the core of what I want to do, honestly, is I'm just simply going to uh, take the linebacker on the right side and I am going to go ahead and throw him into a hard flat, right? Or I could put him in a seam flat and I could put the slot in a hard flat, just like this right here. This is what the defense looks like. And this defense is so dang tough to be on. I mean, and you're just literally, you're just using the left side middle. And I mean, there's just nothing open. There's just nothing open. Uh, a motion crosser is not gonna get open. Really the only thing, and the other thing is like, let's say that they wanna run, um, you know, let's say that they wanna run you know, America's greatest cover three bomb ever made by D-Croft. Uh, let's say that they wanna do that. So again, you know, you're just setting up your defense and there it is, there's the defense setup, didn't take very long. Um, but if you watch here, and again, I'm just gonna kind of use my, user um obviously we're going to want to work the middle of the field but if you just watch r1 um this is the guy that will bomb as you can see right here they follow him right up the seam and there's no window for them to be able to bomb me there's nothing that they can do to get over the top of me another thing that i want to just briefly um cover before we jump out of this is again it's a very simple coverage right essentially it's cover to mabel to the short side and then it's going to be um and then it's going to be cover four, Mabel, uh, to the wide side. So as you can see, this is what the defense looks like, just like this. And then maybe we shift them and do something like this right here. 
Now, if you want to, what you can also do is if you want, you can man up the running back. So if I wanted to, I could take that linebacker and just put him in man coverage. I could put him in a vertical hook if I wanted to. I could put him in a, a cloud, it, it, whatever I want to do, right? You could do whatever you want to do, okay? Um, but I think for my money, a seam flat with a user on this side really does a decent job um, or man coverage with user on that side. But I want to briefly just cover uh, the, the other thing uh, that they could do. So for example, another route combination that is actually very common is something like uh, this tight end deep out. So if you watch on the, uh, if you watch this through, essentially my guy is going to be using in the middle of the field. So as you can see here, you know, we've got the seam flat over there. And then basically if I run this all the way through, you see that the cloud flat has plenty of time to get back there. A lot of people like to use motion crossers against something like this. That won't work either. That flat zone will get back. I just mainly wanted to show how the flat zone is able to get back. Another um, another play that is common that a lot of people really like out of this formation um, is the play, oh gosh, what's it called? PA fork, I believe. Yep, PA fork. So let's say that they wanted to do something like a, I don't know, something like this combination right here where they use some motion, right? They're using some motion. They're kind of moving things around. Again, you're just using right in here. But if you take a look at that three rec, he kind of sits right on that slant route. So anything motion across or like a delay fade, you're gonna be able to defend that. And that's what makes this defense so effective. Um, it's a very simple way to play defense. Are there a couple of things that can get can beat you? Yes, there is. But overall, this is gonna be a very good place to start whenever you wanna turn on um, a specific defense for the U-Trips formation. So this is how to stop U-Trips in Madden 21. If you wanna learn my complete defensive guide and shows you how to stop every formation that you're going to face in Madden 21. You can get that defense in the description of this video. Um, it, it literally will walk you step by step through it all. Thanks for watching this video. Again, that defensive guide's in the description. It's just $15. It helps support the channel and the work that I'm doing. So thanks for your support. I appreciate it. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is 208-218-6900.